All right, guys, back at it again. It's your boy Joe. Make sure you subscribe. Okay, let's continue with this. So, right now, all we have is this my first HTML page, right? So, we're going to create a tab menu, right? A header. So, let's say this header. And in the header. We're gonna create something. Let's see. Uh, get inspired by somebody, and something similar. You know, choosing a design. A lot of times, it's better to have a design, or you know, either design it yourself or have somebody design it for you, or just sometimes just. To be honest with you, it's just taking ideas from other people and seeing, seeing what they got. You see, like I like this. I like how, you know, how clean it looks. So let's say an example. We take this. We're gonna put this into the projects. And in the projects, we're gonna create a new folder called image, IMG, short for image. All right. So now we have access to that image whenever we want to see it. Okay. So we're going to create something like this, right? Okay. So first we're going to create the header, which is this, which is a logo to the left, a menu on the right, and then from there you have a large image, and then from there you keep, you know, boxes of whatever projects you've created. And then at the bottom of the footer, we'll create something else, right? So, all right, let's get back to this. Let's create a header, right? Okay, so we had div, let's say ID logo and let's say logo for now right let's copy this too let's call this all right um, I call this top nav Now, and here we're gonna say href about the HTML. href work the HTML. And then let's say href contact HTML right. so now let's see what we got we got a logo we got the links okay so now Let's see what else we have to do. Let's delete this thing because it's annoying me. Okay. So now we have that, right? Now let's go ahead. Let's get something called uh, CSS reset. So Just copy this whole code. Now let's create another folder called CSS. 
and in here we're gonna create a file called reset.css what if I call it reset.css and let's paste what we got from here copy and let's paste it here what this is going to do is going to make the page you see how we got this padding here and the spaces every browser is totally different so what you want to do is create a reset so with that reset what it does it removes all the padding and all the spaces that each browser has so now you start from like a clean canvas you know without no styles that the you know the browser is already giving you so this helps you out start fresh so let's go okay. now let's go and actually put this into the page so we do link href css slash reset dot css slash uh, uh, make sure we got this link css sometimes I forget this thing because it's fucking annoying so So we take this and we say okay. We can save this. So now we remove that that pattern that the browser was already giving you. Okay. So what we did here, we just added the CSS. This is the reset, right? Okay, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.